Hi there, welcome to Two Birds, I'm Fiona and welcome back if you're moving with me again. Today's class is a 45 minute morning vinyasa flow and it's part of the morning series of classes. Today's class we incorporate twists and spinal extension so physically it's quite an energizing class though we move at a mindful and meditative pace. So hopefully the net effect is that you feel quietly energized without being overstimulated or rushed and you can approach your day ahead calm and with presence. Uh, for practice today you may wish to have a block and a blanket if you like practicing with props and if you are enjoying the classes and you'd like to support me creating and posting each week I'm on Patreon and all the details are in the description below. I really hope you have a great day ahead. Thank you for practicing with me. Namaste. And begin your practice in a child's pose, Balasana at the back of your mat. Taking your knees wide so your chest can fall between your thighs. Walking your forearms forward to rest on the floor. Letting your forehead and the tip of your nose settle. And gently closing down your eyes, shutting out the light. And letting your eyes feel the invitation to rest. Your mind, the invitation to quieten. Your body to soften and release into the support beneath you. Letting your awareness spontaneously find your breath. Become aware of your body breathing. And sensing the air by your nostrils, your breath flowing in and out your body breathing you. And now with a little more intention, direct the flow of your in-breath into the back dome of your ribs and let your out-breath spill and pull into a soft belly. And as you sense the wave of your breath expanding and dissolving, start the process of reuniting with yourself, coming home, your attention grounded in the present moment experience of your breath. And just give yourself the next 45 minutes to set aside what came before, what lies ahead, and just inhabit each moment with your full, vivid attention. Rerouting your awareness inward to nurture yourself. One of the best ways to create space and free energy is simply to pay attention. As you do, you'll find you'll have clearer feedback from your own body and you're also more likely to respect your own body's limits. Your practice will feel more sustainable, nourishing, and it won't deplete you. So as you flow, ask yourself, what does this shape look like in my body? Modify and adapt to suit you. How does it feel? And what's the quality of my attention? When you nurture this skill of awareness, practicing presence, it ultimately rewires your brain, it enlightens your habits and offers you space for clarity. Walking your hands back now toward you, come to kneel upright, bringing your hands to prayer at your heart center. Bowing your head toward your heart, take a moment here, eyes closed, to commit to moving through your practice today with the intention of cultivating this presence. Staying current with your breath, the continuous feedback from your body, 
So you can move in agreement with yourself, open and brighten into your day in the best possible way. Blinking the eyes open, lift your gaze and on an inhale now, raise your hips, reach your arms overhead. And we'll take a side stretch, catch your right hand to your left wrist and side bend to your right. Opening into the left side waist, the ribs and the armpit. And then on an inhale, return to centre, arms parallel. On your exhale, cactus your arms and drop your elbow tips down a little further so you draw the letter W with your arms. Same time lift the back of your heart to puff your chest. On an inhale extend your arms overhead and on an exhale side bend to your left, left hand to your right wrist, side bend on your exhale. Take one more smooth cycle of breath and inhale back to centre, exhale hands to the floor, make your way into a tabletop position. Feel the floor meet your hands, your knees, your shins and your toes and we'll roll slow into a cat pose and pause for a few breaths. Focus on the extension through your spine here, especially through the middle and upper back. Hands press down, hands pull back toward the knees, firming your shoulder blades down and in toward the midline of your spine. So try not to let the lower back do the extension here for the upper back. And then release, moving into a cat pose. And now focusing on your lower back, the upper back does this quite easily when you press into your hands. Instead here, keep your awareness and action in the abdomen lifting the pubic bone toward the navel, filling out through your low back. Then release and flow now between the two with that same awareness and actions of the hands and the spine. Keeping your head moving gently with your spine, your breath, with your movement. And just notice now how that familiar sequence might feel different by simply paying attention with a new perspective. Sometimes there's that tendency to just go through the motions in our practice and off the mat, but we can miss out on those subtle movements and callings of our body, kind of like what really wants to come through you. And that expression of you is like an ever involving impulse and we can feel that physically through sensations and the poses are really a pathway for that energy freeing up space to allow your own vitality and wisdom to come through you and just remaining present to our experience is the key as you're ready we come back to neutral spine let's take the next few breaths to press back into your first Downward facing dog. And just move and sway, pedal and stretch into the shape. Then start to explore. Notice how you feel as you start your practice in your body, in your mind, where your attention goes, where your breath flows. Observe what happens as you linger here. What do you notice in your body? On your next in breath, shift forward to a plank pose and just take three steady breath here. Draw your inner thighs toward one another like they're one unit. Spread through your fingers and then make a little bit more space between the floor and your chest. And press back, downward facing dog. Breath to movement now, forward to your plank pose. And return, downward facing dog. Once more now, full vinyasa, high push up on your inhale, knees or no knees, lower to your belly on your exhale. Setting up for sphinx pose, walking onto your forearms, 
and then reaching and opening through your chest as your legs engage and extend back keeping that feeling of your lumbar spine unpinched and then take your right hand and angle it in take the left fingertips out to the side then lift and push into your hands look out over your left shoulder as you press your left hip bone down and then changing sides left forearm angles in tend to your right fingertips off to the side lift and look out over your right shoulder and then lower down Take your hands by your low ribs, we'll just press back to a child's pose. And then adding on, walk your hands back to your knees, lift up to sit. And on an inhale, raise your hips over your knees, arms overhead and we'll twist. Take your right arm back, send the left arm forward. Turn your gaze to your right. Pressing your sitting bones forward, light squeeze to the base of your glutes here. And then take half camel, your right hand either to the low back for support or touch your right hand to your right heel, raise the left arm up and back, lifting from the back of your heart space. And then on an inhale, return to center, arms overhead. On your exhale, twist to your left now. Float the arms open, left arm back, right arm forward. Turning from the middle ribs, the shoulders. And then moving into half camel, left hand to the back of your left heel or your low back, right arm reaches up. We'll take one more breath, stay with me for a little surprise. Exhale, right hand to the floor now, coming into side plank. So balance on your right hand, straighten your legs or drop the right knee to the floor just to modify. And then spin your heels to the right, reach the left arm up toward the ceiling. We're here for three to five breath. Lift and engage your right side abdominals. Then feel your skull, tailbone and heels into a straight line. On your exhale, plank pose and pause. Greet your shape with a breath. And then left side, Vashistasana, balance on your left hand. Heels to the left. Claw your left fingertips into the mat. Reach to the edge of your right fingertips. And then release, right hand to the floor, press back, downward facing dog, to transition. Take a full cycle of breath. And the end of your exhale, bend the knees, look forward, make your way to the top of your mat. Setting your feet up, hips width apart for gorilla arms, Patangustasana. Take a generous bend in your knees, lay your torso over your thighs and slip the palms of your hands under the soles of your feet. Then gently drop your weight forward into your hands, same time lift and resist with the hands to offer yourself a release through the back of the wrists. Calm and steady the rhythm of your breath and let your head hang heavy. And stepping off your hands, let your arms go floppy. Slowly rise and roll the spine up. Reach your arms overhead. Press your palms. Lower your hands. Standing tall here, sensing an even press through all four corners of your feet. Feeling of levity and lift from the arches of your feet to the top palate of your mouth to the very crown of your head. As you continue to move and breathe, just remember this is your own practice. I'm just here as a guide, leading you toward yourself rather than toward me, or towards some idea of what each pose should look like. 
The real essence of your practice is to create a union of your body, mind, breath in the present moment and attune to what wants to come through you. On an inhale, circle your arms over here, press your palms. Exhale and forward fold over your legs, Uttanasana. On an inhale, hands to shins, lengthen up halfway, upper back engage, chest forward. Exhale, fingertips down, lunge your right leg back for a runner's lunge. So you just stay on the fingertips here, rock a little forward, sway a little back. And just keep coming back to your breath as your anchor. Breathing in and breathing out, breathing in and breathing out. Rock your way back to centre, keep your right thigh strong and lifting and we'll twist. Plant the right palm flush, raise the left hand up toward the ceiling, opening across your chest through the reach of your arms, the length of your breath. And then revolving, right ribs turn toward your inner left thigh. Notice how your breath responds in this shape. And then return the left hand to the floor, seal your right heel to the mat and move into down dog lunge, just walking your hands over to the right on a diagonal. Keep the orientation of your legs, tracking the eyes of your left kneecap forward. Keep the arch of your right foot bright as you creep your fingertips away, extending, reaching away to right through the upper body. Let the hips sink. Walking the hands back, scan dasana to your right now, walking over to your right foot, bend your right knee. Straighten your left leg and you can stay more elevated here in a side lunge or drop a little deeper, flex the left toes, offering a release into the back of your left leg. And then turning now to face the back of your mat for a low lunge, tap the left knee to the floor, reach your arms by your ears when you're steady. And press down into the mat where your body touches the floor to lift and expand the torso up. And then from here back stroke your arms, take them back, reach back. Same time draw the left heel in toward your buttocks. And if it's available catch a hold of your left foot or just reach back in that direction with that intention. Keep offering your left hip support by gently pressing the left hip forward with the strength of your glutes. Take one more breath. Exhale, release. Hands to frame out your right foot. Step up to the top of your mat. So you're facing the back of your mat there. Inhale, lengthen your chest forward. Exhale and forward fold over your legs. Breathing in, rise, come to stand. Exhale, hands to prayer at your heart. Circling back now on your inhale, arms overhead, eyes up. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, left foot steps back, runner's lunge. Pause for a few breaths. Tapping into the feeling tone of the shape in your own body, the quality of your breath. And also economising your effort, letting go of any unnecessary tension in your jaw or your shoulders there. So you have this nice balance of effort, sense of ease, good space in your body. Rock your way back to centre and we'll twist. Left hand stays down, right arm up toward the ceiling, stacking your shoulders and engaging both your left and right arm to expand and twist. Take your right hand to the floor, 
left heel to the mat, down dog lunge, walk your hands over to the left and find that down dog shape and extension in your spine, your upper body, so your low, middle, upper back, all extending. Then soften your groins, extending the inner right thigh toward your knee. Moving into Skandasana to your left now, your version walking over to your left foot, bend the left knee, straighten through your right leg. And then turn and face the front of your mat now for low lunge, right knee to the floor, arms reach overhead. And perhaps closing your eyes here, letting your attention zoom inward, balancing, observing. From here, back stroke your arms, reach back, bring your right heel toward your buttocks. Either catch a hold here or just reach back. Lengthening into the front of your right hip. Take one more breath. Exhale, release. Hands to frame out your left foot and this time step back through a vinyasa. Plank on your inhale. Lower to your belly on your exhale. Setting up for locust pose. Arms alongside your body and as you feel your breath flow in, lift the arms, the legs, the chest and release on your exhale, pressing back, downward facing dog. Just savour the shape, find your ease in your stride and if it feels comfortable, close the eyes. We don't often get the chance to pause and reflect, to go inward. We're so often rushing and overthinking. And perhaps even as we practice, our mind drifts, wondering if we're in alignment, if we're doing it right, self-judgment. But this is the perfect opportunity to pause and reflect. It's your time to be non-reactive. And the practice of Pratyahara in yoga invites our attention inwards where you can take that unhelpful energy that our mind serves up to us and turn that energy inward to concentrate on the pose itself. So instead, as you linger here, feel the engagement of your body through your limbs. Check in with the quality of your gaze and the subtle refinements that you can offer yourself to create more space. So you're just cultivating your own inner wisdom to steer yourself into alignment. Take one more full cycle of breath and at the end of your exhale, step or hop to the top of your mat. Open and fold with your breath Come to stand with a wave of your in-breath and settle your hands to your heart. Stepping your feet about hips width apart now, take your hands behind your back and either hold opposite forearms or take reverse namaste, touching your palms and swimming your prayer hands up in between the shoulder blades. Now go ahead, step your right foot back for pyramid pose. And just lengthening your chest up on your inhale. Exhale and forward fold. So really keeping the back heel grounded, feel for a balance in the pelvic bones. Bringing your heart toward your knee, your head toward your foot. And you're welcome to stay here or moving into a balance, a little variation now. Keep the bind of your hands, bend into your left knee and bring your right leg up into reverse namaste standing split.
and stepping back lightly, strong, straight legs come all the way up and transition into twisting triangle. Right hand lifts, right arm reaches forward as you tip forward, hinge from the hips and just bring your right hand to the big toe side of your left foot. And exhale, roll, open and twist to your left. Left arm reaching, breathing steady. And release, left hand comes down, rise all the way up. And then turning to your right, coming into wide-legged forward fold, Prasarita Padottanasana. Widen the stance of your feet, bring the outer edges of your feet parallel with the short edges of your mat. Hold the waist, lift the chest. Exhale and forward fold. Take a hold of your big toes with your peace fingers and thumbs there. Then gradually over the next few breathe. making a vertical line with your spine and taking this time to just observe and be non-reactive practicing your steady breath and adjusting the shape to suit your needs the more we practice this observation it allows us to be more responsive to life off the mat it enables us to choose how we respond from this place of inner knowing because you're more familiar with what feels good in your body. You know what your body needs. And all this comes through when we get good at listening and practicing. And then we cultivate the tools and skills to navigate outside our practice. On your inhale here, Release the hands, fingertips to the floor, halfway lift, look forward. On your exhale, walk around, face the back of your mat, and then step up. Open and fold with your breath. On your inhale, rise to stand, grow long, and hands to prayer at your heart. Second side here, we'll step the feet hips width apart, taking your preferred bind with your arms or hands. And from here, step the left foot back for pyramid pose. So see that your hips and your waist feel level, send the breath in and up to open the front of your spine. And then exhale and fold over the midline of your right leg. Five, steady breathe. Just notice if you have room to draw the front of your shoulders back to relax your chin a little closer toward your chest. And then either stay here or option to move into a balance, standing splits with the hands bound, bending into your right knee, left leg lifts. Pause for a few breath, hold your gaze. And then stepping back quietly, come all the way up. Transition into Paravita, Trikonasan, Revolve Triangle. Left arm reaches up toward the ceiling. And then left hand forward and down to the big toe side of your right foot, twisting to your right now, right hand reaches up toward the ceiling. And then right hand to the floor to release, hold your waist, firm the legs, rise all the way up. And then turning to your left now for a Prasarita Padottanasana. Elbows back, lift and open your chest. Exhale and forward fold. 
Run your hands down your legs and either take the big toes or rest your hands to the floor. Catch opposite elbows. Firm and hug your thigh muscles in around the thigh bones. Gently tip the weight forward, heels to the toes. On your inhale, fingertips to the floor, lift up halfway, look forward. On your exhale, walk around, face the top of your yoga mat. We'll take a vinyasa or option here to just step quietly back to downward facing dog and we'll all meet up there. Just a short pause to recalibrate through your body. Make contact with your breath. Now go ahead, just rest the knees to the floor and take a seat, kneeling. We're going to move through two rounds of camel pose, Ustrasana. So it's a stimulating pose to boost your morning energy. It's also quite a strong pose, but its modifications can be really just as expansive so all variations are welcome here we're going to lift the hips above the knees now tuck your toes under to modify or flat feet if that feels best and then hands to the small of your back and using your hands to feel and spread your low back out on your in breath lift your sternum merge your shoulder blades then take the next few breaths to carefully arch your spine. And hands can remain on your back for support or you might have the mobility to reach your hands to your heels. But just try and avoid any over effort. Your breath will guide you, let you know if you've gone too far. You had your head tipped back, just chin to chest, slowly release, firm belly. Sitting down, take a moment of pause, hands to your lap. And then one more round here in your own time. Supporting yourself with a nice full breath into the ribs and the chest. And we're all going to meet up kneeling, hands to lap. And just soften the eyes closed. Breathe a slow breath in and a calm breath out. And then blink the eyes open. Walking your hands forward and making your way into an extended child's pose. Stay compressing through the low back spine. So from here we'll go upside down. There's a few options. You may wish to return to downward facing dog. Or you can take a headstand here if that's in your practice. Or follow along with me into dolphin prep, down dog on the forearms. I'm just going to take the next 10 to 15 breath to explore the shape you've chosen. Bringing an attentiveness to your breath. To the feedback from your body.
And we're all going to return to child's pose. Coming down from a headstand if you've been upside down. And then as you touch down, press your palms together ahead of you and take your hands to the nape of your neck. Then just work, walk your elbows forward so you just stretch and lengthen through the undercarriage of your arms. And gently ease your way back upright, let your hips spill out to one side and extend both legs out in front of you. We'll come into Ada Matsyandrasana, Half Lord of the Fish Pose. We're going to bend the right knee, step the right foot to the outside of your left leg. An option here to keep the legs here or take the left heel to your right buttocks. Right fingertips behind you now. Reach the left arm up toward the ceiling. Keep all that length through your spine. Exhale, twist to your right. And just concentrate on creating a little more length, a little bit more height in the low back first. As you breathe in, then revolve through the middle and upper back on your out breath. Take one more cycle of breath. And on your inhale, turn the gaze forward. We'll change sides, re-wrap the legs. And if you are keeping the right leg straight here, be sure to flex your toes. Press the back of your right leg into the mat so the leg doesn't go soggy. Take the left fingertips behind, right arm reaches. And then either hug or hinge your elbow and twist, three breathe. Eyes forward, unwrap the legs, final forward fold now, Paschimottanasana. Two straight legs, big toes to touch, pinky toes curling in toward you. Reach your arms on your inhale, invite your pelvis to tilt, forward, then fold out over your legs. That's a new word, tilt, between tip and tilt. <laughs> Last few breathe. Then returning yourself upright. Grab any additional layers here and props that you may like for comfort so you can sit quietly for a few minutes of pranayama to settle yourself before Shavasana. Just quietly finding your comfortable seated position, allowing the knees to relax down, your spine to lift. Then gently close down the eyes or take a soft gaze if that feels best. I'm going to cycle through a few rounds of Nadi Shodhana, alternative nostril breathing, nice calming, quietening practice. With your eyes closed, start by bringing your attention to your breath. Letting go of your ujjayi breath, if you were breathing with sound, just focus in on the subtle movement your breath creates through the torso. Your breath can relax and fall into a soft belly. Taking six rounds of this pranayama, I'll guide you through two rounds and then just follow your own rhythm. Take your right hand now, index and middle finger to the space between your eyebrows, thumb to your right nostril, ring and little finger to the left nostril. And wherever you're at, in your breathing cycle, empty your lungs. Gently close your right nostril, breathe in through the left, pause for a moment, 
close the left nostril and exhale through the right. Inhale right side, pause top of the in breath, close the right, exhale out through the left. That completes one round, inhale left side, pause, exhale right side, breath in through the right, pause, exhale left, continue on four more rounds, Completing the practice, breathing out on the left side. As you're ready, releasing your hand, stay for a few breaths. Enjoying the freedom of your breath. And just breathing now with the understanding that each breath brings refreshment ease, well-being, just abiding in that calm afforded in this moment. And with as little disruption, allow yourself to rest now, either laying down on your back in Shavasana, legs, arms outstretched, or remaining upright if you're comfortable. And encourage your body to relax and open into the space around you from your head to your toes. And in the spirit of Pratyahara, we gently withdraw from stimulation We may still notice ambient sounds, our thoughts and distractions, but we try and let them fade and dissolve into the background just for now, gently dimming the light of our senses. And with your eyes closed, lift the upper lid ever so slightly so it doesn't press on the lower lid. Then lift the outer edges of your eyes toward your temples, softening across your brow. And invite your gaze to roll downwards as if you're looking toward your heart. Relaxing your jaw, letting your tongue drop away from the top floor of your mouth. And let it come to settle and rest behind the lower teeth. And corners of your mouth relax and melt down toward your jawbone. And soften now over the bridge of your nose and out to your eyes, ears. Allow your cheekbones to melt down, letting go of any tension in the inner ear. 
quietening you hearing. And now allow your expression to soften across your forehead. Your skin to relax. And let that release travel across the edge of your body. The skin of your arms melting like wax. Your fingers curling in toward your palms. Your legs softly relaxing outwards, heels heavy. And let this shape, this feeling you've created, invite you to surrender, letting go of intentions just for now. Just finding completion and peace in this stillness. And I'll be back to guide you back in another minute. And gently, softly, widen your field of awareness. Tune into the sounds you can hear. The feeling tone of your whole body. It's breathing yourself awake and alert. And if you are lying back there, bending your knees, take your feet to the floor and roll out to your right side when you're ready. Take a moment to pause. One last rest. And then slowly drag your way back up to sit. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope this practice carries you through the rest of your day in the best possible way. Namaste.